buckle up. We're back for the real estate ride of our lives, Neil. This competition just reached new heights. <laughs> With bigger challenges. Since the 2020s, so you spend so much more time at home mm. than you used to. Pushing homeowners to the limits. Having four adults at home is a challenge. We live on top of each other now. I just find I can't keep eyes on the kids. The noise just seems to bounce around, making it hard for us to work. We need a resolution for both our sanity, I think. So I'm working my magic. What we're going to do is this. Wow. To stretch budgets to the max. Don't panic. <laughs> it's a little all. scary. <laughs> and put the heart back in the home. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, my God. <laughs> I nearly cried. That's how amazing wow. it is. It looks beautiful. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> While I battle soaring prices to find affordable listings. This could be your new house of fun. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> to tempt families to a better way of life. Imagine waking up to this every day. You kill a man. <laughs> 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 Thought I'd impress you with the car. We are head to head. Milk first, of course. For the ultimate showdown. This is an elegant room. The ceiling looks like custard. Oh my god, that's really creepy. I mean, it looks like you. I'm not saying I've got it in the bag, but I might just have it in the bag. Team this is back on. To get Aussies the homes right. they deserve. Yeah. And on that note, shall we hug it all out? I got you. No, know you I got a hug. hug. On this episode, Hayley and Paul are expecting. How are your delivery skills? I don't have any latex gloves in the car. <laughs> so the race is on to deliver a larger house before Hayley delivers a baby. There's a speed hump coming up here now. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I say bigger is better. I'm speechless. <laughs> and I'm turning up the heat to prove it. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> but I know it's not the size that counts. Where's our house gone? What matters is how you use it. It's our time <laughs> to get one back on her. For once... Wow. ..we don't want our homeowners excited. Concerned about going into labour at this point. But whatever the outcome, oh, we are okay. bursting to know the winner. One, oh. two, three... <laughs> This chroma that we're going to, yeah. it's in the Northern Beaches area of Sydney, yes? Yes, that's where we are. Never heard of it. Well, chroma apparently used to be called D.Y. West. But oh. in 1940, round about the time you were born, um, it became known as chroma. I'll let that go. Neil may have me on this one. I thought I knew all about Sydney's prestigious Northern Beaches, but he is teaching me something today. But that will be the only thing, because I have big news. We are expecting you and Mrs Winter, at your age, <laughs> are homeowners. We have never had a baby on Love It All Listed Australia. No, before. no. How are your delivery skills? I don't have any latex gloves in the car. <laughs> <laughs> and what, do, what else oh, do you need? Oh, Boil Andrew Winter. <laughs> Boiling water and towels, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Who would need a couple of doctors and midwives when it's got Neil and Andrew on the job, <laughs> eh? <laughs> I'm sure owners Haley and Paul won't really need our help in that department. They've done it before. We're expecting our second baby in a couple of months' time. We actually just found out that it's going to be another little girl. You are my own. Definitely going to be having my hands full. And I'm going to be getting dominated massively. I'm going to get behind you and push from behind. Yeah. yeah. As a father of three girls myself, I know what Paul means. No, I just say yes to everything. What do you want? <laughs> But six years ago, when this couple first met, Hayley was the one saying yes. I managed to woo her into coming around to my house um, for spaghetti bolognese, of all things. Um, so I think it was definitely love at first bite. <laughs> what I love about Hayley is that um, when there is something there that she's passionate about, she's very tenacious. I think we balance each other quite nicely. Like, Paul is really different to me, so I think that's probably why our relationship works. This growing family started out nicely when they bought this almost affordable fixer-upper. One, two, three, go! Getting into the Northern Beaches lifestyle was a big win. So, at first, 
They look beyond the property's shortcomings. So my favourite thing about the house is north-facing. We get a lot of sun in the house, and that's a great neighbourhood. I think it's a really nice place to raise a family. I have definitely learnt to love this house. We've always known that at some point in time we would have to do some work. And that day came with little Rosie. Where's Rosie? It's really difficult for us if we're in the kitchen, for example, to see Rosie if she's playing in the lounge. There you are. Even though it's a small space, um, it, it really feels like a kind of maze. Oh. <laughs> we would like Rosie to be able to play outside as much as possible, but there's no visibility, actually, between the indoor and the outdoor space. Working hard to earn more money, Paul as a landscaper, Hayley as a marketing manager, they planned for renovations until Hayley had a change of heart. I have spent many an hour drawing up plans and basically everyone, Hayley's laughed at me. <laughs> That's definitely one, one way to show that you're not keen on a house. <laughs> so I'm on team listed because I think even with a renovation, we can't, um, we can't change the floor plan of the house. This house is not really fit for purpose for a growing family. Hayley now thinks they need something bigger. She managed to convince Paul to list their place, thinking a juicy offer might change his mind. We actually had a really good offer just before Christmas, um, and I think um, <laughs> at that point, Paul just, Paul just got cold feet and I couldn't move him. Yeah, I don't think I got cold feet. I just didn't want to leave. Andrew is definitely our last hope in terms of getting Paul out and to look at houses. I want Team Love It because I definitely think that we can turn this into our forever house. There's something about this house that I absolutely love. It just feels so comfortable and, yeah, there's, um... Yeah. Sorry. You are getting emotional about that. And I do believe this is their street. I think you could be right. Oh, my goodness, look at the style of the house. Wow. Oh. Mid-century. Yes, Mid-century all the way. Not expecting that, was I? It's very green. Yeah. Ah, hello there. Hi. Welcome. Hello. Great to see you. Your house is an architectural gem, I can tell from the front. Yes, it is. Thank you, it is. It is. Is it stunning inside? I think just wait till you get inside. OK, all right. Can we have a look now? Absolutely. We're off for a scan. Oh, a scan. Ah. A scan. Good luck. OK, Thank you. See, see you later. Guys. Bye. The home is set on a 554 square metre sloping block. At the front, there's a lounge, dining area and eat-in kitchen while at the back there are three bedrooms, a bathroom and a laundry. Oh, it is an old one. Neil, oh, wow. look, 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 look. <laughs> There's obviously a little person already living here. You do not miss a beat. I'm like a detective. OK. Oh, sunken living room, wood panelling, sloping ceiling. Gosh, it's a, it's a design classic. Laundry, blue. Oh, little pink room for a little person. Very small bathroom for a family. And tiny master by the looks of it. And another kid's room. Again, tiny. Oh, and a pool. Wow, it's just old and empty, but it's very authentic. Unlike this kitchen, which is obviously not original. Andrew, this house is bizarre. It's like it's frozen in time. I mean, I feel 10 years old again. It's a perfectly formed little museum piece yeah, of the house. Is. And the thing is, Andrew, I also don't get any sense of anyone living here. The bedrooms are empty, even the master. They have mentally already moved out. I, I think this is a win. We might as well stop everything now. It's got limited potential. You can't go out the front, you'd ruin the architecture. You go out the back, you ruin... What's out the back? Swimming pool. And is it sloping? Yes. Yeah, there you go. Come. You have to leave it as it is. There you go. It's, it's, too, it's too small for them. So, it's definitely a win for me. 
Four years ago, Haley and Paul paid the bargain price by Northern Beach's standards of 1.375 million. Now the house is worth almost 1.79. Time to cash in and trade up, I say. Oh, really? Into a more expensive market? Who's the real estate expert here, Andrew? Haley and Paul, this house fascinates me. I wondered whether it was the architectural style, the interior style that drew you to it. What I noticed in the house initially was the bones to the house. It's got great bones. Um, and, you know, as an added bonus, we've got the pool out the back. It just felt right. I absolutely adore it. But for a growing family, useless. Mm. Prob did you have any kids when you bought it? We did have yeah. Rosie when we bought it. I think when... Um, we found out late last year that we were expecting our second. I think that was when reality hit, and I just thought okay. this is not fit for purpose long term. It was just the perfect, perfect time, I think, for us to move. So this house was actually on the market? It was. It was a very low point in my life. <laughs> but you brought it back from the brink. I what did. happened? I couldn't part with it. it. There's something in me that tells me, stay. There's so many positives that I see in this house, whereas I think Hayley, she's, she's lacking the vision. I'm not actually convinced we can bring it kicking or screaming into 2023 anyway, because of the type of house that it is. Um, I think we can achieve so much in opening it up mm. and we can create a more modern feel as a growing family, this house. It doesn't have the longevity we're looking for. Obviously, Hayley wants to go, I want to stay. Mm. And so there has been a lot of friction between us. Yeah. To have some work done to it would be just... Mm. I think that that can also mm. bring us closer So whichever well. way you went, the dilemma will be solved, whichever there, way you go. There will be some go. progress, yeah. yes, which exactly. we, we haven't been able to make up to this point. OK. What is the renovation budget? So the budget's around about 170. Mm. OK. What are the priorities? Definitely it is to open up the kitchen, lounge and dining area. To have that open plan, yeah, it'd be life-changing. I think Paul is right to love this place. It really captures the sunny Northern Beaches lifestyle. I'm sure I can open it up to make it feel bigger and more practical for Hayley. For your new home, what is the budget? Where is it? And uh, what are the key things you're looking for in that new home? So I think budget-wise, we can go sort of between 2.2 and 2.5. OK. Um, we'd like to stay on the northern beaches. I think we really love it here and the location's really grabbed us. If we could find something that's on a level block, perhaps three or four bedroom, um, ideally with a pool, but doesn't necessarily have to have one there. Just something that would suit us better, I think, as a growing family and give us indoor, outdoor flow. Mm. So much more of the kind of Aussie style of living. OK, that's quite an expensive shopping list for the Northern Beaches. And I'm going to need something to compete with the character of their mid-century pad. And it has to be baby friendly. Lucky I'm so clever. Sounds easy, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does, absolutely. It's a no-brainer for Hayley and I. I feel that Hayley's thrown down a challenge. Uh, I think... A challenge which I up. accept. <laughs> <laughs> Paul and Hayley have hit a roadblock. Their second bub is due in just weeks. But they can't agree on where to raise the family. Yeah. It's definitely caused friction, hasn't it? Hayley wants to fly the coop. There you are. For a more spacious nest. This house is not really fit for purpose for a growing family. But Paul thinks the perfect roost is right here at home. It's my castle. I definitely think that we can turn this into our forever house. Something has to give. We're really stuck, aren't we? Mm. We, we, we need an intervention. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, my team and I have come up with a scheme that will function for this young family. I'd like to put the living area at the back, but the retaining wall and pool are blocking us. So instead, we've reworked the front. The challenge will be building it before Hayley goes into labour. I need to be up front with you. I can't make the house bigger, but what I can do is make the floor plan of this house work for you. It will feel bigger. 
And I think the best way of doing that, apart from knocking down walls, obviously, is to reorientate. At the front of the house, we'll swap the positions of the kitchen and lounge room. We'll remove all the internal walls, move the kitchen next to the front door, and add a huge island bench. The dining room will remain by the window, while the new lounge room with built-in wall cabinets will be where the old kitchen once stood. OK. Nice. I like it. Do you? Yeah. Something else that I really want to do, because I think it's so important, is level the floor. Yeah. Is this sunken living room one of the things that's bugged you about the house? I actually have to be honest that it's not one of the things that has really bugged me about the house. <laughs> the problem with it, though, Hayley, it makes the space smaller. Yeah. Because you're utilising so much floor space mm. with the step itself. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. by levelling the floor, you'll actually claw back an awful lot of floor mm. space. OK. OK? Should we go into the kitchen? Yeah, let's go. OK. Welcome to your new lounge room. <laughs> <laughs> The wall that we're facing now, that's going to be where the television will go. OK. Big 80-inch TV up there. Imagine Definitely that. Not. No way. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that the living room is all about mm. the, t the TV. And, of course, the wall behind me, gone. But what there will be here and what there has to be here mm. from a structural point of view is one retaining beam. OK. You know what? I mean, with that wall gone, we're going to have so much natural light just flooding into mm. the kitchen, particularly in the mornings when the sun rises. Yeah. I mean, Hayley, how, how are you feeling? I mean, I, I feel there's a lot going on that you're not saying, but you're thinking a lot. I think the change is quite significant. I can't quite visualise it at the moment. The wall's gone and us having a kind of essentially, like, potentially kind of a view right across the room. Yeah. Paul, is, is this the kind of change that you had in mind? Um, not the change in the kitchen over to the other side, I, this, that's out of the blue. That's just hit me. But you know what? I love, I love it. It's a big change. Yeah. But I've got one more thing up my okay. sleeve and we need to head to the laundry for that. All right. So this is a really important part of the house. Now, in order to make this really function for you, this area, I want to change the position of the front door. So the front door if you can imagine this, is now going to sit where you've got the sink over there. The laundry and toilet has lots of valuable wasted space. We'll reduce the size to make a proper front entrance and hallway. The new improved laundry will house the toilet and extra storage. I think that sounds great. Um, I think one of the things that we can't afford to lose in this house is any storage because mm. we do we do really struggle with that. So um, yeah, certainly having the front door facing outwards makes makes a lot of sense. So do I have permission to start? Absolutely, God yes. <laughs> and like ASAP Let's and go. at pace, at pace because <laughs> yes. we don't know when this is going to pop. So what do you think about today? I feel like Neil's plans are good, but I'm, I'm struggling to wrap my head around the configuration of the house and whether, whether it's really quite enough and is what we need. I mean, look, Neil is a professional, mm. and so I think we just need to trust the process. Paul and Neil are dreaming. A reno might work while the kids are babies, but when they grow, it will be more cramped than my childhood caravanning holidays. They need a bigger home, and I need to win. But Paul refused to house hunt with Hayley, so I'm not taking any chances. Hang on one sec. Just locked him in. Child lock. <laughs> the child locks are on. You can't yeah. escape. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Yeah. Come on, Paul. I'm so excited. <laughs> you said that with <laughs> such conviction. <laughs> Hayley warned me he was stubborn, but I'll get Paul riding the wave of Team Listed. Our first stop's a ripper, North Narrabeen. It's a neighbouring suburb, so it's still Northern Beaches vibe, with the bonus of being closer to the water. North Narrabeen good? Yeah, love North Narrabeen. It's a great location. Our first property is classic beach house chic. This stylishly renovated weatherboard has four bedrooms, three bathrooms and two living areas. I admit there isn't a pool, but the ocean is a mere five minutes drive. Northern beaches, 
weatherboard classic. You're killing me, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love the location, and, yeah, I certainly love the look of the house from the exterior. OK. On that basis, off to you two. Let's go and have a look. Thank you. It's a good start, isn't it? Great start. The stairs. Oh, OK. <laughs> You're not going to say much. <laughs> This is perfect. Oh, OK. This is perfect. Yeah, I'm speechless. <laughs> yeah. It's got four bedrooms, three are upstairs, one is down, and, of course, you've got that lovely back garden right there. But there is no pool. I think it's... it's magnificent. It's exactly the type of indoor-outdoor living that we were after. It, yeah, it's... <laughs> Yeah, it's good. It's nice. All right. Well, gather your thoughts, explore the house, and we'll have our little chat out there when you've finished. Sounds good. All right. Yeah. Paul has been so blinded by his love for his own castle, I suspect this will be quite a shock. Yeah, Rosie it's would like love this room. Perfect play space for Rosie. The fourth bedroom is a bonus Neil can't give them. This would work really well as a guest bedroom. Yeah. Mm. And it's away from the three other bedrooms upstairs. This is so gorgeous. It's a bit great little nursery for mm. the new one. There's another good-sized room and a stunning master with lots of hidden extras. This is great. Look at this room. <gasps> Didn't expect that. A nice balcony. Sit out here and have a cup of coffee in the mornings. Yeah. The three bathrooms should be enough to keep the peace when the girls are teens. Mm. It's a good size. Yeah. Good size bathroom. Nice bath as well. Yeah. And instead of a pool in the perfectly planned yard... This would be a great space for entertaining, wouldn't it? This would be good, yeah. There's even more living space. Oh, look at this. Just Perfect. another surprise for I you. know. It's getting better in this house, doesn't it? I had to say it. I really loved it, actually, when we walked in, but I think it gets better as we go around. You're still smiling. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very serious option for us. <laughs> I... I keep saying I'm speechless, but, yeah, I, I really don't know what to say. This... I could see myself living here. OK, well, let's bring it down to some of the boring bits. And the price guide on this is 2.2 to 2.3. OK. It may go for a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I think that's surprising. I was expecting mm, more than that, actually. Yeah. We have blindsided him a little bit, haven't I we? Think, yeah, I, think I think we have ganged up on mm. you quite a bit. I'm just trying to persuade him that it's time to move. Yeah. So I can win. I feel like Paul is completely shell-shocked, actually, by what is out there. I think I've come a little bit undone. Uh, this is a really nice house. I think it has shifted my view a little bit. Yeah, I think possibly I have had my head in, head in the sand a little bit. Well, fear not, Paul. I'm building you a sand castle. By the time I finish this open-plan contemporary beach house, it will rival anything Andrew can offer. Peeling back the decades has uncovered a ton of space and a ton of expensive problems. But I'm not going to talk money with Haley and Paul today, because first, I want to get them excited. Oh, wow. How's this? <laughs> come in, come in. Oh. Look at this. This is awesome. This is not even the same space. It's quite confronting, this moment, isn't it? very confronting. And it, everyone reacts differently. Mm. With the wall was gone, it, this space just seems mm. so big now. I was actually hoping that mm. this wall would have mm. gone when, when you came in today, yeah. but unfortunately, you know, that support beam didn't actually run as far as we mm. thought. OK. So the engineers have had to come in, obviously, to make it all safe. Mm. And look at the floor. I think we got here in the mm. nick of time. <laughs> this is that moment when you think, there's no going back. No, no, definitely not. This is kind of making even more of a case for Team Lispit than there already was. <laughs> to be oh, don't say <laughs> that. It's clear I'll need my hard sell on Haley. I'm sure when she sees some of my samples, she'll snap out of it. Okay, welcome to my mood board, mm. my mood wall. Wow. <laughs> so this is what we've chosen 
for our kitchen cabinetry, oh, this nice. beautiful dark timber laminate. There's a beautiful tile here. These are those finger tiles mm. that we talked about and that I know you love, which of course is going to be the kitchen splashback. Mm. And they've got that lovely matte finish mm. to them, which mm, I think is, nice. is very contemporary. But again, it is a nod back to the era of this house. OK. Yeah. Hayley. Sorry, I just, You're not I feeling just, it, I are just you? can't get excited about these samples. <laughs> <laughs> oh, OK, <laughs> you wait. You wait till you see them all in place, Hayley. You will be loving it. <laughs> Come on, Tech. The child locks are on. You can't <laughs> escape. I'm stuck. We're expecting a baby. It's going to be amazing. So on this search, I'm leaving nothing to chance. You're killing me, <laughs> <laughs> And I've got to please one very tough customer. I How just can't get excited about these samples. But I'm up for the fight. <laughs> you wait, Hayley. You will be loving it. <laughs> Come on, Neil. Admit it, you are beaten. While you try and punch your way out of four tiny walls, I have the whole northern beaches to find a palatial family home. I've already hooked Paul with my first property. But if proximity to the beach isn't enough, I've got something that will pull on the heartstrings. A little birdie, well, Hayley, told me Paul was raised in Davidson. At 11 kilometres inland, it's not your typical Northern Beaches suburb. But, boy, does it deliver with spectacular views and stunning properties. So the one we're going to see now is Davidson. Oh, Davidson. that's really familiar to Paul. I have so many fond memories of, of Davidson, so, you know what, you've... Okay. You've done all right on this okay. one. Mm. I can just see Paul showing his kids where he used to play before returning home to this rather special property. With four bedrooms, three bathrooms and two living areas, there's enough room for hide-and-seek. There's even a pool. The only downside is the sloping block, but even that has a silver lining. The main reason I chose this house is because it's got this incredible elevated block, which gives you breezes and the views, but they are usually associated with very unusable backyards. But would I do that to you? Of course not. <laughs> First impressions? I really like it. Yeah, we actually, some of our best friends live on the next street. What, here? Here. I know, it's perfect. <laughs> this actually might sway Paul, which is amazing. But obviously, I knew that. Yeah. It's a very nice house. You're interested inside? Definitely. Come on, you're going to love it. And how can you fail to be impressed by this? Wow. This is lovely. <laughs> oh, he's gone very quiet, yes. hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he almost looks scared. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, <laughs> although I did look out the window and I saw the pool. <laughs> like, Damn it. Did I mention it was fully renovated? Two living areas, open plan? No, oh, but what's that noise? Oh, it's Neil sobbing. Why don't you start at the top and I'll meet you outside afterwards. Perfect. Enjoy. Thank Take you. your time. This would be a nice size for Rosie. There's no skimping on the kids' bedrooms. Decent size room. Mm. And there's even a treat for Mum and Dad. Yeah, this room's lovely. Mm, I did not expect this. Me neither. Look at that view as well. We we'll give the neighbours a good fright. <laughs> and when the kids want sleepovers, this fourth downstairs bedroom is big enough to invite the whole school. This is massive. This is huge. It's like a wow. whole other living space. There's even a third fully renovated bathroom. Wow, nice floor. It's incredible. Another surprise. I know. So, inspection over. What do you think? I really like the home as we approached it, but I think as we moved around the extra bathrooms, the extra bedroom, I could actually see our family working in this space. And uh, your, your side? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
No, it, it, it is. It is a very lovely home. You really like it, don't you? Look, you do. I, I, I can see it in I, your I, eyes. I was going to say, I, I like it. Price guide is 1.9. Wow. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> really, Andrew? You think you can beat me with a property stuck in the bush? Down at the coast, we're building a beach house. The open level floor is a step up from the step down. But the rising cost of materials and structural issues have pushed the budget well over. So I'm checking in with our builder, Nathan, to make sure there are no more unpleasant surprises. Hello. Hi. How are you, Nathan? Very well, thanks. How are you? Good. So how did you go with the ceiling? The real problem was over here where the, where the existing wall was, between the dining room and the kitchen. We had to take that wall out, and um, there was about 20 mil difference in the rafters. We ended up deciding to resheat both um, sides of the ceiling with new jibrock. Yep. And the floor was the same, about 20 mil, 15, 20 mil. Wow. It's good to know all this before I meet Paul and Hayley. Yep, yep. So I can explain to them why things maybe haven't moved on quite as much as yeah. they were expecting. Renovating old houses is always tricky, but with supply issues and inflated prices, it's harder than ever before. Well, oh. hello. Oh, Hi. Man. Have a look at this. Mm very different, isn't it? Very different. How do you feel about this? I wanted to be disappointed today, but I don't... <laughs> that's not how I feel. I actually feel like this... Like, coming in here, start, it's starting to feel like the type of home that we want to live in. She's been giving me such a hard time mm. with the... Oh, I can believe with it. The, going and looking at the other houses, and now... It's our time to get one back on her. I mean, look, I can't pretend there haven't been a few issues sort of levelling the floor, ceiling, but... We're on track. Yeah. Haley and Paul have approved the overage associated with the extra work. Their $170,000 budget has grown to $200,000 and rising. But they're both keen to get it done. For different reasons, I suspect. Now, Haley, I know how much you love a show and tell. I love it. <laughs> but I wanted to... Actually, I want to do two things. I want to give you this first. Little present. Our old friend. A little souvenir. Yeah. Old friend. <laughs> That was your old lighting. Mm. This is the pendant that's going to be hanging above your dining table. I think it absolutely nods back to the, the heritage and the origins of this house. I think it's lovely, Neil. <laughs> it's really, it's really nice. Andrew can't compete with any of this. Really? The light show? No, he doesn't have a tile show. He doesn't have a light show. No, but Andrew does have a magnificent house show. <laughs> I am quite surprised at my reaction today, but I also know there was always going to come a point in this process where perhaps things started to swing away from Andrew and I, but I would definitely say I'm still on Team Listed. That's my girl. Not everyone's dazzled by fancy lights, Neil. This family needs a bigger nest, and quick, Haley looks a bit uncomfortable in the back. You know, I'm trying not to go over any big bumps, yeah, just in if, case, if, Haley. If, if, he, if he could keep yeah. it calm. Yeah, well, there's a speed great. hump coming yeah. up here now. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Did we do OK? Yeah, oh, I Phew. don't know. Haley can go into labour on Neil's watch, but for now, she needs to hang on because our final property is back near the water. This is a, a particular nice feature of mm. your area, isn't it? Yeah, the Narrabeen Lagoon. Yeah. Yeah, we love it round here. Right, well, if I was to tell you we were going to go and look at a property virtually within walking distance of the lagoon, would that excite you? I think that would really excite us. For once, I think excitement might be a bad idea. But Rosie loves riding her bike by the lagoon, so our next property in Wheeler Heights is literally on the doorstep. And if the flat water doesn't float Paul's boat, it's just a seven-minute drive from the beach. The median price is north of two million, but I've found hidden treasure. They'll just need to lower, or maybe it's raise, their expectations. Here's the drive. Jeez, do we bring the abseiling gear? No, you don't need abseiling. You just select lower gear and here you go. Look at that. <laughs> so easy. <laughs> Just up these very easy steps. This is a bit of a wild card for a young family. 
but most of the house is on a single level. There are two living areas, four bedrooms, two with en-suites and a family bathroom. There are multiple decks with stunning views. I've delivered on Haley's flat backyard and the pool. It's just a bit of a hike to get there. This is slightly elevated, it and is. I would call this my wild card. The word wild is definitely, yeah, the word of the day here. Hayley? I, like, I think the home looks stunning from the outside. Um, obviously, it's incredibly steep, but I think, yeah, excited to have a look inside. Uh, are you ready for this? Yeah. So, if you've got high expectations of the <laughs> house that's high up... Wow. So, on this level, we've got a living area there, all this living with a magnificent kitchen, three bedrooms, bathroom, laundry, and one of the bedrooms has an ensuite. So, you can literally, as a family, bear in mind garden and outdoor is all on this level, live on this. Downstairs is a beautiful master suite. I think it's magnificent. I think it's absolutely stunning. I'm quite speechless. Are you? Yeah. OK, go on, go and explore. Look at the smile. Look at that view. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's gorgeous. The second living area has the same gorgeous views and they can keep an eye on the kids from the gourmet kitchen. Nice yeah, bench top, lovely. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And with essentially two master suites, they could start up here. I think we could all live up mm. on this one level yeah. Yeah, while the kids are young. And move downstairs in years to come when the kids don't want to know them. Wow, this is stunning. It's big. Yeah, beautiful. It's really, really nicely done. Surely Paul's love affair with his shoebox must be waning. Just to make sure... <laughs> Look at wow. this! Lovely. Can you believe that you're on a steep block? No. Go on, you can admit you know when you're beaten. <laughs> you know what, I'm, I'm now speechless <laughs> at this. I, I didn't expect the pool, I didn't expect the deck. Um, this is a very yeah. child-friendly little garden. Yeah. There's enough room there for some kiddie toys, mm -hmm. amazing great big bench mm. area. This, this is kiddie. Actually, it's not only kiddie, it's entertaining heaven. Mm. So the house is going up for auction. It spoke to the agent. It is within your budget. In the higher end of the budget? Yes. But in square metre terms, overall, this property is nearly double the size of yours. And it's not double the price. Mm. Yeah, well. I absolutely love this house. This has got it all for us. Like, we could live here, definitely. This is going to be a difficult one for me to, to sway her. I just have to rely on Neil to be doing an amazing job at our place. It's a lovely oh, spot it's here. amazing. Look at that. I mean, look at it, Andrew. It is paradise. Yeah. And I showed them three houses in paradise. They loved every one of them. Now they've actually got more options than children. How did you go? Well, look, I have to say my renovation hasn't been without problems what, as well. Putting on bedroom four, bathroom two, bathroom three, two-car garage... No, sadly, I haven't done any of that, oh, Andrew. Okay. <laughs> but what I have given them, I think, is the maximum amount of space I could squeeze out of what mm. they've got. So who's going to win this one? We're going to go off and find out. And in fact, we shouldn't hang around, really. Why? She's literally days from oh, having absolutely their second child. She is. Come on. <laughs> quick, quick. Okay. Should we run? I'm coming, I'm coming. Paul and Haley's home wasn't fit to raise one child, let alone two. The tiny living area was boxed in by a maze of walls. I couldn't increase the footprint but opening up the floor plan means we've maximised on every square inch. It's now a modern beach house the whole family can love. Here they are. Hello. Hi. How are we? How exciting is it? The day is finally here. And by the look of it, just in time. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be quick today, Neil. Decision day could not come quick enough. Are you excited? We are so excited. We're desperate to get in and have a look. It's, yeah. it's like Christmas day for me. Oh. 
Christmas Day. <laughs> All right, well, on that note, shall I, do you want me to come in with you? Not really, no. Well, I'll... Where am I going to go? It's a short stroll down to the beach. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I'll grab my bucket and spade. <laughs> come on, guys. Introducing your contemporary beach house. This looks incredible. It is I, amazing. I I can't believe it. It's. I mean, I I, I think I need to walk back out because this isn't <laughs> yeah. our. This this is not our home. Like. I actually feel like my eyes can't take it in. To be honest, it's so different to what it was before. You've made it look good, and I really didn't think it was possible. Oh, I'm so pleased to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pleased to hear that. I like to over-deliver. Yeah. It's the open aspect Paul and Haley craved, with distinct zones great for raising young kids. Now we've got 360-degree view of mm. everything that's going on. It's, yeah, this is, um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know that you both wanted a modern beach house. So what we've done in here is use the palette. The colours and textures of sand, rocks and driftwood are echoed in this contemporary interior, with nods to the retro style of the architecture. From the moment that we bought this house, I knew that there was you know, potential, but this is something that I could never have dreamed of. It's magnificent. I hate to say it's probably as good as anything we've seen, <gasps> if not better, to be honest. Really? Um, Have I given you something you to think I'm about? I'm very speechless. Yeah. <laughs> very I'm speechless. concerned about going into labour at this point. <laughs> oh, so please. I don't want to do that to you. <laughs> yeah. And we haven't even mentioned what's behind you both mm. in the new laundry. It's small, but beautifully formed. I did steal some space for a new entry and hallway, but we haven't skimped on function or style. I want you to have this baby here. Yeah. Well, I think you probably yeah. will. Yeah. <laughs> Let's face it. But I also want you to go off and take it all in mm. yourselves because I, I know that you know you, you need to discuss things and, and really walk around and imagine yourselves living here with Rosie. Mm. And then, sadly, you do have to go and see Andrew. But I was thinking, do you want me to come with you? A bit of moral support? Fine with me. All right, I'll let, I'll let him know. <laughs> yeah. He'll be really happy okay. about yeah. that. Yeah, perfect. Go on. I'll see you later. See you. Thanks. Love this. Look at that. Yeah, I know. It looks great. It's nice. So much storage, isn't there? Ah. I almost want to open wow. every cupboard. Look at this. Wow, wow look that? at that. Look at you two sitting in this beautiful room. Mm. I'm told I have to ask this question, so I will. What do you think of the house now? It's it's fantastic. It's sorry, <laughs> it's so much more than we expected it to be. It's like we have a whole new home, really. Oh, actually, I'm going to stop you there. Half a new home. The moment you go there, <laughs> to me, it's still too small. Mm. I mean, you did look, we looked at some interesting properties. Mm, we looked at some fantastic properties, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, can I ask you now, without Neil listing, I mean, are we, we going to be loving or listing it? Hang on. Oh. Uh, Let's just wait for Neil, OK? I, I actually, I couldn't even give you an answer right uh, now. Let me see if there's another way I can persuade you. You, your original budget was about 170. Mm. Yep. Yeah. And I heard you spend a bit more than that. Yeah. Around about 220, yeah. So before the renovations, the value was sitting at around 1.7, around that sort of mark. Now it's probably between 2.1 to 2.2. <laughs> that, now you've gone quiet. <laughs> Were you expecting I mean, that? No. I don't yeah. want you getting overexcited or anything, because, <laughs> okay. you know... There is not, a, there I'm is not a equipped for anything going like that. Yeah. End up with something in your lap. <laughs> yeah. We wouldn't want our pale trousers to get ruined, <laughs> would we? Oh. What do you think? I, I don't know. Like, after seeing Neil and the transformation, like, I mean, how good is that? I know, it's, done, it's done an incredible job, hasn't it? You know, Hayley did say to me that um, this was as good as anything you'd shown her, if not better. 
Did she? Hmm. It's actually really thrown me this morning. Like, we've gone in, we've looked at it, it's incredible. Then, then Andrew's come in with a bit of reality bites about the size, we haven't increased the size. Yeah, the whole time I've been, you know, stay, stay, stay. But then just talking to Andrew and the, the figures. The conversation's turned serious now. It has, hasn't it? It almost doesn't actually put us in any better position than we were in before Christmas, because we've still got to make a decision, so we still feel really stuck. This is really now the exciting moment. Yeah. How are you both feeling? A bit nervous, a bit nervous actually, yeah. yeah. Feeling a bit nervous. Yeah. We can't be too nervous and excited because there's only one bathroom. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> anyway. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> thank you for that little reminder. <laughs> And thank you so much, Hayley, for sort of hanging back a little bit. It what could if... still happen. Yes, it could still. Yes, because we haven't even done the decision bit yet. No, we haven't. Has the decision that you've hopefully made um, been easy or difficult to make? It's been a very difficult decision for me. I've come here today and I've, look, I've seen the transformation in, in our house and I'm blown away by that. But then I've sat down with Andrew and... Now I'm torn. My experience has been the opposite way round. Then I've come in here today, Neil, seen what you've done. It's absolutely blown me away. So I suppose, Neil, it's uh, time we've got to ask the question. Hayley and Paul, are you going to love it or are you going to list it? So rather than having a gender reveal, we're going to have a decision reveal. So pink, we're going to love it. Blue, Andrew, we're going to list it. Oh! <laughs> oh OK. Uh, go for go. blue. OK. One, oh. two, three. Oh. 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 Hey. <laughs> so the reason that we've come to that decision um, is really because we'll be loving it until we list it. I think with the best will in the world, we will always be limited by space in this house. I totally mm. understand your reasons. So, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And we will add, yes. they have been a joy to work with. We yes, have had lots of fun, mm. lots of fun. So have we, likewise. Like, it's been an amazing process, and I think we've really um, got so much out of working with both of you um, that it's just been an incredible experience for us, so yeah. thank you. I think, from, from our perspective, this has been a money-can't-buy experience. Yeah. yeah. So, so Hayley, um, on the basis of your imminent birth, have you any ideas name-wise? I mean, would it be called Andrew or Neil? <laughs> <laughs> or Winty? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's it, yeah. No chance. <laughs> <laughs> the decision today, it definitely came down to the wire and it was something that I, I just, I never thought that I would have made. I actually didn't expect to love what Neil has done as much as I did.